So what do you mean by deep copy and what exactly is shallow copy? What are the differences between deep copy and shallow copy in Python? Can you show us some code examples demonstrating this? So in this video, we are going to talk about all these interview questions in great details. Hope you are going to find it very helpful. Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Sukanto Roy and you are watching Coding with Roy. So in this video of the Python interview question series, we are going to talk about deep copy versus shallow copy. Timestamps as always will be in the description. So if you want to skip to a specific part of the video, feel free to do so. And if you like this content, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. So you get notified whenever I upload this particular type of videos. So as we discussed, today's topic is differences between deep copy and shallow copy. And deep copy, shallow copy, both of these methods are in the python's copy module so we have a different module for copying objects in python why do we need a different copy module so basically as if you have any idea about python programming then you would know that in python assignments are not copying objects so when you say for example assign a variable a list say you are assigning a variable a a list of one and two and then you are assigning b equals to a so you are doing b creating a variable b and assigning the value of that variable a to b so when you are doing this kind of assignment operations python internally does not copy the inter the list that is assigned to a so python does not copy this list a1 on a1 and 2 to b so what it internally does is it internally creates a separate reference for that particular object so if i show you with the diagram so say we are creating a variable a and we are assigning it to a list one and two so when we are assigning a list to one and two python is going to create a list one and two a list is an object obviously a container type object so python is going to create that object in the memory heap and then python is going to assign the memory address the reference to this particular object in variable a so as you can see the a object is referencing to the object in the memory so the a object does not have the value it has the reference to the object that is in the memory space so i have explained all this in the previous videos in great detail so you can check those out if you are not familiar with this particular concept so when we are going to say b equals to a so what we are internally doing is we are creating another variable b and we are referencing the same object python does not create a separate list object to assign to b when we are going doing b equals to a python creates a, uh, python creates some new memory reference for this particular b variable so both of these objects are referencing to the same object in the memory so whenever you are going to change this particular object the other one is going to change as well so let me show you with a code example what is the need for copy module so if you can see i am creating a list that contains numbers and a list so you can see that this container object contains another container object so let's create this list once we create it we are going to assign list to to list one so as we did in the slide we are going to assign ls2 equals to ls so now as we discussed both ls and ls2 are referencing to the same memory of like same object in the memory heap now we can print both of these values and we can see that both have the same value obviously they are going to have the same value now we are going to modify list one so we are going, going to modify ls1 LS and we are going to add 6 to that list. So I just added it and let's see while printing that yes indeed it has been added. We now can see 6 being added at the end of the list 1. But as Python like uses the same object to reference to different variables. So the different variables are sharing the same object. We can see that list 2 has also changed. So this is a great problem right when you are trying to copy a particular object but you are not able to do so so 
if you are not familiar with this particular topic your code can have a lot of undesired bugs because you think that you are creating a copy by assigning a different variable the same value like in this case ls2 equals to ls1 you are doing so if internally does not create a new object so where whatever changes you make to ls1 it is going to be reflected to ls2 and the same will happen when you are going to modify ls2 it will reflect in ls1 as well so this is a great problem and for that reason we have a different copy module in using which we can copy and there are two types of copy deep copy and shallow copy that are we are going to discuss next what is shallow copy so basically shallow copy is so you saw in the last code snippet that we have complex objects so what are complex objects complex objects are objects that contain different container objects itself so one box contains another box you can think of it as this so shallow copy does not copy recursively so if you are calling shallow copy for a particular object and that object is a complex object shallow copy is going to just copy this particular object it is going to copy this object but it is not going to copy any internal complex objects that are present in this object so if i can show you with this diagram so say we have a person object now we have a person class and that class has two attributes one is the name the name of the person and the other one is a pet object so say we have pet so someone has a dog someone has a cat so that cat will also have its own object the dog will also have its own object so that pet object is a complex object and the person object is also a complex object because it is holding a different object so this is a object and if we shallow copy this particular object what is going to happen is python is going to copy this particular original person object and it is going to copy but they both are going to share the same pet object so the pet object is not going to get copied what is going to get copied is the main person object and whatever is inside of that person object is going to share the same references with the copied object so this is shallow copy whenever you are going to make any changes to the original object it is not going to reflect on the copied object unless you are changing the pet object i uh, once we understood what is shallow copy let's understand now quickly what is deep copy so you can see deep copy is a process in which we are copy the copying process occurs recursively it means first constructing a new collection object and then recursively populating it by copying the other internal objects as well so like in the previous example we had person object so it is first going to copy the person object and then it is going to traverse the whole object and whenever it is going to see any object say it is a name or a pet object it is going to recursively copy those objects separately so in case of deep copy a copy of object is copied to other object so it means that any changes made to the original object is not going to reflect any way in the copied object so it is a complete copy uh, and uh, let's see an illustration of this so in the previous example when we had the person object and that person object consisted of the pet object so now when we are seeing this this person object has this pet object original pet object original person object now when we are going to copy this particular person object it is going to create a different copied person object but it is also going to recursively create a copied pet object so both the original person and pet objects were going to be recursively copied so this is deep copy whenever you make any changes to any deep copied object it is not going to get reflected anyway in the shallow copy like in the original object so with all this theory let's see some practical examples to better understand this so now the copy module contains both the deep copy and the shallow copy methods so let's start with importing it and we are going to create a same type of uh, list this is a list that contains another list so it is a complex object let's initialize it and now we are going to shallow copy it so if you want to shallow copy any particular object 
using the copy module you are just going to say copy dot copy so the normal copy always the shallow copy and there is a different method called deep copy that creates a deep copy so now we are going to create a shallow copy of a like this list ls in ls2 variable now we are going to again do the same thing and add six and let's print it so now when we print it we can see that six has been added at the end of the list one now let's see the list two okay so now we can see a change from the particular assignment now in particular assign when we we were doing assignment like ls2 equals to ls1 we were seeing that assigning appending six to the end of list one was automatically converting list two as well, like automatically changing list two as well but in case of shallow copy we can see that just appending this six is not changing list two list two is same as before but now what we are going to do is we, we are going to append seven but we are going to append it to this inner list so we are going to append this seven to the inner list and the index of that list list is two so we are going to append here so once we do that we can see that the list one has changed and the inner list now contains three five and seven instead of three and five it contains three five and seven now let's see print list two as well now you can see that list two has also changed so when we were adding six here it was changing the outer list that has been copied successfully using shallow copy so it is not reflecting in list two but when we are adding the seven variable uh, in the inner uh, list that is not copied in shallow copy we can see that the list was changed in list two so this is shallow copy now let me show you deep copy we are going to do the same thing again create ls with the list and we inside it will also have a list and now instead of doing dot copy we are going to do dot deep copy and we are going to pass that object so once we do that it created a deep copy and now let's append six again to list one at the end of list one itself so now we can see that it has changed six has been in, like included inside list and now let's see list two so list two as we can see has not changed it has one two and three five like before as we initialized now let's do the same thing and append seven to the inner list now once we append to the inner list now you can see the difference is this list one now has three five and seven in the inner list because we modified it but list two is the same as before so now we have truly copied the list two and list one like from list one we have, we have truly copied list two whatever you do in list one it is not going to affect in any way to list two this was it this was deep copy versus shallow copy so if you have any particular doubts regarding this video or any interview question leave them in the comments and do subscribe to the video uh, with that being said bye bye and see you in the next video bye